everybody? It's your boy Nick back at y'all with another video. And today we're about to listen to this little peep. Come over when you're sober, part two. I'm a dog and that's true, baby. Can we call this here a truce, baby? And you know I got the juice, baby. And you see me in this cool, baby. So, first and foremost, RP Lil Peep, man. I'm not gonna sit here and act like I was, you know, a, a day one Peep fan, man. I, I think I started listening to Peep maybe like a few months before he passed. I enjoyed his music. It affected me enough to where when he died, like I felt it. Like I felt like a tugging on my heart. It, you know, it's, it's sad to see stuff like that, bro. Glad to see that we got new music from him, though. Keeping his legacy alive and still like feeding his fans, bro, even in his passing. Let's get right into this album. First track, Broken Smile. Wow. I gotta go right now, that's all. Nothing to it, don't expect no call. Broken Smile. Goodness, bro, this is amazing. Amazing track, amazing intro. This man, Peep, man, he always had the bangers, bro. He always had the bangers. You know, he mixed the, the whole gothic style with the slapper. Get the best of both worlds, bro. Amazing track, man. Really love that song. Now, Loki got chills, bro. Next track, Runaway. I think this is the, the track that he dropped in the music video. Yeah, always gravitated me towards Peep's music was how relatable it was to what I was feeling and what I was thinking, man. Um, he says, you know, everybody's so fake, I swear. Why does everybody act like they care? You know, I don't really like opening up about like how I feel and like my feelings and stuff like that. Really, because I feel like nobody cares, but like, one, I don't really want pity from anybody because I don't, I don't, you know what I mean? I don't even like all that attention, but it's just, Last year was one of like my darkest years, like mentally. Like I've always like struggled with like depression and anxiety and stuff like that, but um, I always suppressed it. Like I've always did that to where now it doesn't even feel right to tell anybody about how I feel, you feel me? And even when I do, I just feel like nobody really actually cares. I was dying and nobody was there, bruh. And it's like that, that must have, you know, that must have hit his parents hard, bruh. To feel, I can't even begin to imagine how they felt like hearing that, you know what I mean? As a parent, you feel like you're supposed to protect your children and this and that, even when, you know, there's nothing that you can do, you feel me? And probably hearing that probably just hurt. It hurts hearing that and I, I, don't even, I didn't know Pete personally at all, you know what I mean? And I had just started listening to his music like a couple months prior to his death. Next track, Sex With My Ex. <laughs> I know the whole rock combined with rap thing and this whole emo rap type thing is the big thing now, but with Peep, it all it, it was always authentic. You know what I mean? Like when you could feel the emotion in his music. A lot of people kind of like hopping on this wave, but I don't I don't even think that a lot of these people are like actually like sad or actually deal with these things. I think they just, you know, make these songs because they think it sounds cool. But I feel like with Peep, he was actually going through things and he actually was singing and rapping about stuff that he that he actually felt, you know what I mean? And you could tell inside of his like his music, like you could tell in his voice and just like what he put out. Next track, Cry Alone. Already heard this. Wanna hear it again, man, because I love this song. Ever since it came out, been replaying. Kids are look at me now. Next track, leaning. Catch a feeling for me, catch a feeling for me, catch a feeling from a lifestyle, feeling from a lifestyle. Walk up to Christ, and we're really alive. I was trying to die last night. I wish I could see you right now, right now. Burn me with all the lights out. 
always say this. Um, a lot of the times, as a listener, you don't. We don't really take in what the artist is saying. A lot of these songs that we we listen to and we we vibe to comes from the pain of the artist. People just antagonize people for for using drugs. You know what I mean? Oh, that's so stupid. That's blah blah blah. But you don't understand what these people are going through, like mentally. You know what I mean? Everybody's different. You might not use drugs to solve your problems. That don't give you the right to look down on somebody else. Everybody deals with things differently. You know what I mean? So don't, you don't get you don't have the right to judge anybody. But like that track too, bro. Next track, 16 lines. Please don't cry, waste your time. 16 lines make me feel fine. Wonder who you fuck when I die. Anybody out there? Anybody out there? Anybody hear me? Anybody hear me? Anybody hear me? That has to be one of my favorite songs on this project so far. I love the part where he's like, is anybody out there? I hate it when you fake care. Going back to what I was saying on Runaway, bro, you just feel like people just don't really care. You feel like people are just faking it. Peep has some heat, and he has some heat in the vault. Track number seven, Life is Beautiful. Oh, you wanna see your friends, but you're stuck inside a hospital. Got to and he tells you that it's terminal. Another one of my favorite tracks on there, bruh. The writing on that song was amazing. Man, he was just telling the truth on there, bruh. Life just throws so many curveballs at you. You, you. you think you get out of one situation, you, you, you get right into another one. You think something is one way, and it's a completely different way. I, I hate to sound like a pessimist, you know what I mean? But life sucks at times, bro. Life sucks. <laughs> like you said, isn't life horrible? I think that life is horrible. But, but it's still beauty in it, you know what I mean? There's so many things to be thankful for. Next track, hate me. I was on the phone and out of the room, not trying to wake you. Yeah. Okay. Slap it. I'll be sipping Patron and I'll be trying to blame you. And I can hear my heart beat something like the bass drum. She said, baby, don't start with the fucking and the makeups. You don't. Now you calling me crazy. Another great track. I love the. You calling me crazy, girl? I know. Next track, I don't give a. Another good track, man. I don't, I don't know what else to say. It's another good track. Next track, White Girl. She don't love me, she just love how I feel. I'm a fucking tell, I know that she real. Why the fuck is she made me a meal? For real. For real. Baby, For real. Like white girl, me, I got cocaine in the bathroom. Like cool track, man. I really love the background vocals on there. I like the part where he's like, I don't love her, but I like how I feel when I hurt. And she made me a meal. For real. Next track, Finger. Lines, bro. Okay, so that was fingers. Love that song, man. Another great track. Haven't been, I haven't been disappointed by any of these tracks on here. The last two tracks are falling down and sunlight on your skin, which I feel like I think they are essentially the same song. It just has X in one, and then it has McConaughey in the next. I've heard both of them, so you know, what I mean, I'm not gonna listen to them again. Enjoyed both tracks. Um, as far as how I feel about the entire project, loved it. Amazing man. Um, I really didn't expect Peep to have so much heat. You know what I mean? And I don't mean that as like I didn't expect his songs to be good. I mean that as like this man have 
full songs in the vault. Like, great album worthy songs. Really love that we're getting fed like this with this music, man. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. If you did, leave a like down below. Go ahead and subscribe if you have not. Turn on my notifications to be notified every single time that I upload. Squad, squad, squad. Gang, gang, gang. It's your boy Nick T. And I'm out this time.